What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out the Slayers. Don't have them pulled yet, but we're going to go ahead and check them all out. Including Veronica, which is a 4 star. So let's just start off with her real quick. My first ability, she has Rapid Fire. Which does something with bombs. Probably detonates bombs. She has a passive here. Vampire Hunter. Dispels Immortality from all enemies. So I'm guessing... Vampires probably have immortality on them, so as a vampire hunter, they need it. They need this ability probably. We have chain explosion, which probably dispels buffs for inflicting decreased damage and bombs. So this is how she put her bombs on you. So she has a cool little kit. I'm checking out Ezra. Ezra's gonna be an Earth thief. Of the Virgo signage, he has a decreased attack on his on his A1 with a 60% chance. He has a passive Slayer's Bun. When an ally, the foremost ally uses a non-attack skill, it increases the combat readiness of this of the caster and can only be activated once. So I'm wondering if it helps the combat readiness of the person in the front. I'm thinking that's what it's saying. Then it says, leave me alone. All attacks. Attacks all enemies by wielding the sword with an 85% chance to make them unhealable with Scrick and a Christian hit chance. So that's another character with Scrick on them. It says, the successful attack deals 150, 100, excuse me, 1,500 fixed damage for each debuff inflicted. So, if the, he has multiple debuffs put on him already before he uses Leave Me Alone attack, he does quite a bit of damage. I, I can see him being a good follow up character, especially since people are not going to know what he does right away. So, let's go ahead and check out Claudia here. She's going to be the tank, which will be the foremost opponent in if he uses all slayers. So, let's see. The Chris hit chance on her A1. On her A2, she has Slayer's Determination. Increased the effectiveness is about 20%. So, there's some innate effectiveness built in. And when suffering an attack targets, it targets our allies, she activates retaliation against the attacker. So, an innate counter ability. I guess as long as she's not stunned, right? Pierces through the enemy before attacking, increases attack, and grants barrier. So she's a pretty good tank slash attacker. I like that passive. Down and resolve, rear fire resolve, grant immunity to all allies for two turns. So she's giving them immunity and recovery health. So she has a little bit of healing involved in her kit. So cool. And then we have. I'm Mickey. She has most of the attacks. Her A1 has a provoke. Um, attacks. I guess she's like min help mitigate the damage that's done on the tank. Attacks enemy with the sword with a 50% chance to provoke. And it cannot trigger a critical hit. So she can't trigger a critical hit, but she has penetrate defense on that. And. After attacking the caster's health, the third percent away is grants an extra attack. So she gets to attack twice if their health is low. Grants the mortality on her A2. Why would she get. Why would she get immortality? It does say she's an officer of the Slayers. It has an unfortunate past, so I'm, I'm going to guess she has something to. With being some sort of half vampire or something. That's interesting. Just reading to that along with her, along with her, she has a history. I mean, you look at her background over here. It says something about she was found in the village of the Shadow Elves. So, who knows? Who knows? A2, grants some mortality, and increases the attack. And it has a little bit more to it. 
Avenger Sword slashes the enemy consecutively to attack. Cannot trigger a critical hit, but it penetrates the defense. So it seems like she would build her with attack only. That's what I'm thinking with her. When the caster is immortal, it grants an extra turn. So she get an extra turn out of this too. If she has immortality already. So pretty cool. Pretty cool kit right here. Her. I like her kit. But that's all guys. Um Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like. Even if you don't subscribe. I prefer you subscribe too. I'll see you in the next video.